Hello there, Banana Gang. Welcome back. Today, I am starting the episode off in a cave. I'm strip mining to Tristan's base. Um, don't ask me why. I'll get to this later. Guys, I was digging, and I found a little cave. And I was like, I was going, I was going past the cave. Because I was like, oh, you know, it's a little cave. There's some lava. Move around. No big deal. And then I was like, oh, I'm pretty close to Tristan's base right now. Like, you know, I mean, not that close. But I was like, I wonder if there's like any, I wonder if there's any these caves lead up. Because I could, you know, save some time and get a more natural progression up to the surface. And I'm going over here. And I'm, I'm being careful because I got the blindness effect. There is an ancient city right here. There's like an ancient city right under his base. I mean, it's not right here, but it's this is an old base. But like, I need to be careful of lava. There's an ancient city right here. And I don't know, like exactly where it is but this is one of the because I, i'm pretty sure this is, i'm pretty i mean this is an ancient city because i think that's the only oh yeah for sure say so deep slate i'm pretty sure doesn't spawn i'm pretty sure it's the only structure deep slate spawns in do i guess we just go in <gasps> it's one of the things i don't have any i don't have any wool on me okay i can break it right because there's no right please i think i can break this I need to break this one first. <laughs> Guys, I don't fully know how these work. I think I have three, it's like a three strikes and you're out, I'm pretty sure, right? So I'm pre pretty sure I'll be fine if I break this. No, not fine. Oh my God, it's rewarding. <sighs> I want to open this chest so bad, it's so tempting. Standing on it causes it to scream. Is that a warden? That's a warden. Break this, break this, break this, break this. <gasps> There's a warden right there. Guys. Does it know I'm here? It doesn't know, right? It doesn't know? I, I'm... How long does it... Guys, I'm... So I was just this was supposed to be the beginning of the video. I'm gonna remain very still. Ah! Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I'm running. I'm wh where am I? I don't know where to go. Where did I come? Where did I come from? I came from here, right? Please don't. Please don't know him here. 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 Don't know him here. He can shriek through walls, right? That's how they work. Sounds like I'm getting louder. I can't tell. I'm so scared. Mo my Mojang did such a good job with the warden. He's actually so terrifying. I'm gonna eat another potato. Please don't kill me. If this. Are you kidding me? Is that. I just spawned another warden. I can hear it. Guys, I'm scared. He's sniffing. There's two wardens. There's one in my left ear and one in my right ear. <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Can he? F I don't think he can fit. He can't fit. I almost want to get a little closer so I don't get hit into the lava. Please despawn! I can still hear that original warden too. Is it? Do, do they just never despawn? I thought they despawned after a while. Do they never despawn? Okay, I have an idea. He definitely knows I'm here. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna fire a bow and see if I can trick him into thinking I'm somewhere else. Cause I'm pretty sure he can. Wait, if I can fire an arrow, like, please work. Oh, <gasps> it worked. I'm a genius. And now I stay over here. He's coming back. He's coming back. Why is he back? Okay, I don't fully know what to do. I seem to be stuck here. So I'm just going to dig, dig away and hope for the best. If I get blasted through a wall, I'm going to be furious though. Dig, dig. Where am, I, where am I even going? I'm going away from Tristan's base. Fine, whatever. I don't care. Get me away. I'm going to turn on subtitles, see if that gives me any indication. Right? Because it should say, like... Wait, what? 
Okay, that was fluke timing, but as soon as I turned on subtitles, it disappeared. I thought maybe it would tell me, like, Warden digs or something. I thought, because I'm pretty sure that's what a thing. Okay, silent. I'm going to go back very tentatively. Okay, so this is Xena from the future uh, editing the video and telling you some stuff. Basically, I went back and forth to the ancient city like eight or nine times, and I kept spawning a warden and running away, spawning a warden and running away, and every time I went, I broke another sensor or a screamer, and I did end up getting a little bit of loot out of the chest and stuff, but it was really slow, boring progress, and also really repetitive, so I'm just cutting out of the video. Anyways, here's the loot I got. Okay, I just spawned like my eighth warden, and there was like two of the last time I spawned. I'm done. I I've gotten like some cool stuff. I've gotten a lot of these things. I've gotten some swift sneak. Wait, no. One of these. Yeah, swift sneak, one, not two, but still pretty good. Good. a saddle some ice which is actually pretty nice i can decompact that uh music disc some soup i guess not the greatest haul I, there's probably a lot more loot in there but I'm, I'm i'm calling it here i'm willing to take the l on this one i'm willing to be done here i am leaving quitting while i'm ahead so toodles goodbye i'm taking all this the good stuff and i am ditching we are now back at the base which means we can do this and while this plays can i hear it from over here I'm going to update the ore staircase. So I don't think I mentioned that. I think I featured it last episode, but I didn't tell you guys about it. But basically, uh, every time I mine ore, I use Silk Touch because that just condenses it in your inventory because I fortune on my other pickaxe, which means I can just carry more with me. And, you know, normally I, I stack it up and mine it and stack it up and mine it. I thought I would just build a staircase and see how high I can get it. Now, there's pieces missing just now because I was mining coal. But in general, what I've been doing is just like, you know, adding a little bit of the pile, keep going. I'm gonna see just how far I can take this. I mean, it's gonna look ugly for a lot for a while, but I'm just gonna just more out of curiosity. I, I, I'll take it down eventually because I'm gonna need all the stuff in here. But just sort of as, as a as a temporary storage until I actually need the stuff that's being like stored here. Why not? You know why not? I, I'm gonna buy the diamonds because like I just like having diamonds. But this is getting pretty high, and I think the grass blocked it. But every time I add a little bit more, and this is very loud. But look at the parrots. But I wish I could dance like that. I wish we could like waggle. I guess we can kind of do that. We can go like ba ba da ba da bum ba ba da ba. I need mean, to be able to like turn. Like y the character doesn't turn the same way. I guess it kind of does. Now that I'm back, I'm going to the secret Santa. You can kind of see it all the way over there in the distance. And hi, my cat is like right in front of me. Um, basically, between episodes, I did some stuff, and I was so distracted by the warden, I forgot to tell you them, so I'm just gonna rattle them off really quick. I made a gunpowder farm, the design is by Gorilla, the link will be in the description, and I also expanded my villager hall to be, like, a little bigger, I dug the cave out more, and I also moved in all the villagers who had, like, trades already, so not, like, all the random villagers without trades, but the ones that, like, the books, the, the stone cutters, all them people, I moved them in, and I think that's basically it. Here, so it's after the date, so I just hit the button. I got myself. Okay, we put it, oh, there's only one of the, there's only one of the left! Wait. Can it, can it, I must be one of the last people to come get it. Okay, will someone please? Hannah! Oh, okay, Hannah. This is awesome. Hannah is my best friend, IRL. So this should be, um... This this will be, this should be fun. I, I have a lot of... I'm trying to think. I got, I got a brainstorm. In the meantime, I want to show you guys the gunpowder farm that I just made. So let's go to the next clip. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll do a really cool... Let's do like a star transition. So I'm on the hill above the base right now. You can see the mushroom house and question block and stuff over there. And I'm going on top of this hill because this, this is actually where I built the gunpowder farm. The reason I'm coming over here is just to show it to you and just how it works. So basically, I'm gonna use the cam. Uh, there's three levels, and these are the cats are for. Actually, if you remember, I spawned a bunch of cats, or not spawned, bred a bunch of cats. I'm not I'm not cheating, guys. Don't worry. I uh, bred a bunch of cats right here. There's still some left, and I'm using them over here in the machine. There's two per level. The creepers spawn on these platforms, and they go in. And all the way up there is the AFK spot. Now, I, the reason I'm showing you this, is I, I've already taken all the gunpowder out. I have about three stacks right now. Oh, something some in there. One must have spawned, but I. Uh, why is it? Why is my plant orange and brown? What? That's so weird. It looks almost like. Wait, what? It. It looks a bit ill, almost like. I... That's very strange. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna check it out. Hold on. But this is Botanist Xena going in. I'm gonna check out. That doesn't sound good. Oh dear, that is very loud sounding. Um, yeah, that doesn't. This is. Huh, I mean, I haven't really been taking care of it. I have some roots. Uh, d don't worry about it. those. Are, I don't, don't don't worry about that. Lore, guys, lore. Don't worry about why those are there. Um, let me get like a bottle of water. Oh my god, I should probably feed it. Uh, what, what guys? What do plants eat? Oh, bone meal. I should get bone meal. I actually have bone meal down there. I'm pretty sure. I'll get bone meal and a bucket of water. Let's see if that helps. It is looking very ill. That's a bit strange. I wonder if the fertile the the oh there's not really any fertilizer in there. There's no dirt. Maybe 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 it needs better fertilizer. I'm gonna try a few things, guys, to see if the plant can get a little bit healthier. 
I can just parkour up its stem. Oh dear, that does not sound healthy. Okay, do you want some water? Drink up, yum yum yum. Oh, is it leaking out the side? Oh, we have a waterfall. Oh, is that gonna, oh, that's gonna ruin, is that gonna ruin? Oh no, no, my bushes. Oh, it missed, it missed all the bushes somehow. Oh no, my torches, it's gonna miss all the torches? No, it's hitting that torch. Where can I put this where it's not gonna flood? There, it has, a, it has a fake tooth. Okay, let's give it- Oh my god, it's so loud. You don't sound well at all. Okay, let's give it some water. Let's see if that helps. Let's give it some bone. Like, I don't- Do I click? Oh, what the heck? Wait, did I- Did I just- How did I do that? I just grew- I just- What? I just grew seagrass in here. That shouldn't be possible, I don't think. Not quite sure how I did that, but interesting, I guess. Wait, have I created water sources? Oh my god, wait. Bruh, this is annoying. <laughs> I'm just trying to do a bit, guys. Trying to water my plant, but now there's like an issue and it won't stop screaming. I know you're unhealthy. I'm trying to fix it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I can see you're unhealthy. Stop screaming at me. Okay, take some more bone meal. And I don't know what to do beyond that. Oh, God, it's loud. <gasps> I'm, in, I'm insane. So I am back at the end portal. Last time I went to the end, it did not go well for me. And other people have elytras now, but literally none of them have been online in like weeks because of finals and stuff. So I've been pretty much alone on the server, save for like a few random occurrences from people who don't have elytra. So we're trying again. The last time I went to the end, it went terribly. So I'm just really hoping it goes better this time. <laughs> Guys, I have been in the end for maybe four minutes. Like, it's right here. Basically, last time I went basically straight this way. Like, you can see this is the direction I went last time. I went the other direction this time and found one right away. So I was three minutes away from getting one last time. Now, I really, really hope there's a boat. I even brought rockets. I really, 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 really hope there's a boat. And I hope it's not been looted. It, even if it was looted, we uh, we reset the end dimension periodically, um, which I did, like, I don't know, a week or so ago. I don't think people have been to the end. I don't really know. You know what I mean? But I'm just hoping this is unlooted. And I think I'm just going to tower straight up. I think it's my... Oh, there's even a gateway over there. I think I'm just going to tower straight up. I think that's going to be my best get. So please, please. I mean, I don't see any obvious signs of people being here. So I, I think... I, I might, I might, have, I might have struck gold, guys. I might have just found. I mean, look how close it is. Because we came. That's the thing. It was right there. I was so close the first time. I just didn't look. Uh, yeah, it's frustrating. The shulkers are, are still alive. That's a good sign. City at the end of the game. Is it there? It's there. Wait, it is. Yes, yeah, there. My, my, mine looks different because I have a resource pack. But it's there. Die. Shulker boxes too. That's also really good. Only one. Interesting. I have looting four. So that I feel like I would have gotten more. But it is what it is. That's a pretty good helmet, actually. That's a pretty good helmet. Not a great sword, but not too bad. Um, that's a terrible helmet. I might just leave that there. I'll take the pickaxe. Uh, do I like what? <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. And beetroot seeds. Why are beetroot seeds part of end dimension loot? Why is that a thing? Why is that the considered a late game item? Oh, you know, what? I'll take, I'll take this too, and the end rod. I'll, t I'll take all of it. Guys, here we go. The fine, the, the big moment. This feels so good. I've missed this. Oh, I've missed this so much. Oh, how I've missed this, guys. I played a single player world for over a year. To play be it, uh, early game Minecraft again, this is, this is, this is wonderful. I have, oh, this is so, th I am very, very happy right now. Anyways, I'm gonna loot the rest of this fortress, so, uh, time lapse, here we go. Boom. Okay, y'all, so I've been flying around looking for a new elytra, that's the end island there. I just realized something, my elytra durability is very low. Um... I don't want to fly over the void anymore. I could get stranded, which means even though I have an elytra, I might need to walk back. I actually throw ender pearls, but I might need to like just go. Oh god, where's that gonna land? Oh, just a little dip. I might need to just walk back to spawn. I thought I could use the elytra to fly around and get more, but I didn't bring a mending or an unbreaking or even any leather with me. So or whatever, phantom membrane, not leather. 
So um, I might actually be straight because I, 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 if I knew it was unbreaking, like I can fly over. But this is, this is a bit damaged, so that's a little terrifying. But hopefully we'll make it. I'm wondering if I should try to like, how much? Yeah, it depletes so fast. I'm just like I don't even know. But that's all right. We walk back slowly. We just kind of. Oh, the Henderman's mad at me. Five durability left, but let's fly to the portal. I wonder if the couch is going up back to Wait, oh, we've got a portal. Oh! That depleted faster than I thought it would. I thought I was going to try to, like, fall into the portal. That could have killed me. That would have been a really unfortunate way to end. But either way, we hop in. I'm going to go to the villager area to get some books. We're mending and I'm breaking the main ones. And I want to show you guys really quick. I add another pipe entrance, and I don't want to overuse the pipes too much, because I've already used it quite a bit. Uh, I think this will actually be the last, I mean, I might add some more decoratively on the side, but I think this will be the last pipe in, like, the main base area. And this one's a little bigger, as you can see. Bigger circumference, I guess, lack of a word. And then I'm going to change this as well. This is temporary. This is also, like, er everything in here is temporary, guys. But basically, this is the area, that, and even this is somewhat temporary, because the, the blocks aren't finished blocking. Those should be mud bricks, and I want to have to hook up redstone and stuff above here. Um, so I got lots of plans. So basically, this is the villager area. I've moved in all the villagers that have trades. Um, so all my librarians, the farmers, the uh, these guys, are they called stonecutters, the random miscellaneous, another librarian here. What do you sell? I forgot. Efficiency 5, that's right. So basically, I've been moving everyone in, and over time, I'm going to fill these up. I want to get every single book trade if I can, as well as quite a few more farmers and other things. And I want to just keep extending this more and more. As you can see, I've already dug out a lot more hole. I'm going to just keep digging it. I also might dig it all the way to the end of this thing. And I could have like a pipe going out both sides. I don't know for sure. But I think it'd be cool if we had like a pipe on this end going all the way over there. I think it might be interesting. But we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, I'm here. Well, for two reasons. For one thing, I want pumpkins. Actually, I'll sell those after. Let me see. Can I get mending first? Then I'll hold the elytra in my hand and then do the rest of the trades. That way... Oh, I, need, I, need, I, should, I should really put an anvil in here. That would make things really convenient. Okay, so I finished up the trading. I have all the books. or I, should, I already put the bending on, but I have four in breaking books. I'm going to put the first one on my elytra just directly. Uh, that's how we, I'm using the data pack that lets us break the enchanting limit. So we put in breaking three on it, and then we're going to add the um, breaking three to the already in breaking three elytra by combining them like that. And then we combine the books, and then we put the books together like a so. Well, yeah, like a so. If you can't tell, I'm recording the audio post because the audio got messed up here. I'm trying to match it up. I'm doing a really bad job. And there, look, enchanted. Boom, I did it. But now I have Unbreaking 5 and Mending, which means hopefully I shouldn't even have to worry about, like, flying to my death. So which means I can finally soar on my base. It's so, like, it's so weird flying, flying around the server. Because, like, I'm pretty used to the server now, right? And, like, pretty, those, those are all my, sh my extra sheep going that didn't go into the farm. I think that's Bolt's base, and like we can probably fly over to Tristan's base in like 30 seconds. Everything is so close now. Having an elytra just changes the way everything works on the server. It's now like transportation. Did I just... What the heck? Did you guys see that? It was like I got stuck on the cloud. I'm also wasting a ton of rockets right now, but I don't even care. What? What is that? Ouch. I know you're still sick. I tried curing you. I'll, I'll make more progress on the lore next episode, guys. I already tried curing you. Stop screaming at me. No, but seriously, what is... What is that? Oh, oh god, I'm falling. What is that? Is it a dead bush? Is that like one of the like the things you find in the desert? Is that what it is? What is this? It kind of looks like the Statue of Liberty, like the torch a little bit. That makes any sense. Is there a sign? Oh, is it, oh it's a, okay, no, it is a dead bush. What? Why? Oh, is it? Oh! Because this used to be a mangrove propagule, so I think it's supposed to represent that I no longer have the monopoly, which is fair. Oh, wait, is that a chest? Wait, is there a, maybe there's like a paper or something here. Right. Oh, okay, so that's the stuff. I wonder what- Honestly, I'll probably leave it there. I think I know my- I think it might have been Secret Santa. Because, like I said, Secret Santa's pranks this time, right? I think that might be the prank. And speaking of Secret Santa, I'm going to do my prank next episode on Hannah. I actually have a really good idea of what I want to do, but it's going to take a little bit of- well, actually, no, not a little bit. It's take a lot of preparation, and I just don't have time for it before this video is over, nor do I have time to show the prank. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until I see you guys next time, that was really- I said that, I'm probably blurred all my words together. Until I see you guys next time, eat a banana, peace.